We're going to make yogurt today. What you need is milk. It doesn't matter what percentage of fat you use in the milk. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> no, keep going this time. <clears throat> you need milk and you can use any kind of milk. Skim, I call it scum milk. You can have 1% milk, 2% milk, homo milk, which is milk that likes other milk. <laughs> and you take this milk, I use about 2 liters, and you boil it first. So you take the milk, you put it in a pot, you put it on the stove, and you boil it. This is done in order to, my wife is a food scientist dietitian, and she tells me that this is required to kill off the bacteria that may be in the milk so that <clears throat> when, uh, you, when you actually make the yogurt, bacteria that you don't want in the milk is not present because you kill it off in the boiling process. So first you boil the two liters of milk. You bring it up to a boil and then you cool it down. So I have the milk here, it is freshly boiled and how am I going to cool it down quickly? Because I want to make this cool down faster. I don't want to stand around and wait for it to cool down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hot milk and I'm going to put it in a sink full of cold water and then I'm going to stir it. Stir it. You can do this with a wooden spoon. You don't have to do it with a whisk. It doesn't matter what you do this with. You don't even need to stir it. You can just let it cool down. This will just accelerate the cooling process. In fact, if you wanted to, you could just leave it on the stove top and wait. But I don't feel like waiting. So I'm just going to cool it down here. And uh, then it'll be cool. You want to cool it down until it comes to about body temperature. That does. <clears throat> All right, the, the milk is pretty well cool now. I'm going to test this. Anyone with a child would know that this is the way to do it because they've fed babies before. Okay, it feels like there's nothing on there. Nothing, because it's the same temperature. So the milk is the same temperature as my body. It's cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quantity of yogurt this is 1.1%. This is plain yogurt. You can't use this flavored stuff. The ingredients must read milk and bacterial culture, nothing else. Because if you use this stuff with the, the sugar and, and the, 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 the various thickening ingredients and so on, it's, uh, well, this actually has only the bacterial culture in it that you need to make yogurt. And that, that's what you need. You don't need any of this other stuff. Because there's active bacteria in the yogurt already. And once <clears throat> you, you take this yogurt, you put it into this milk that you just cool to your body temperature. And you just, I put in about two, three tablespoons, I guess. And what's going to happen is the yogurt culture, the, 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 the I think it's called acidophilus bifidus, perhaps? I'm not sure, I can't remember. But you can look it up. I mean, you're watching this on the internet, so that means that you have a little Google taskbar search thing right there, so you can look it up. What's in yogurt? Bacteria. This bacterium. One bacteria. The bacterium. So I put this in, and what's going to happen is the, the bacteria is going to start multiplying in this warm milk. Um, and what else I'm going to do is I'm going to add some <clears throat> powdered milk. Because, what did you do? Nothing. Okay. Oh, it's my watch. Sorry. The powdered milk will, um, I'm going to put in about three tablespoons of powdered milk and whisk that in. And what this is going to do is it's going to thicken the yogurt a bit. Because I, I tried making the yogurt without putting the powdered milk in there, and what happened was, <clears throat> The, uh, it wasn't as thick and some of the liquid separated out from the solids and then you had like the whey was separating out and it's still fine to eat but I prefer to have it a bit thicker and that's why I use the skim milk powder skim milk powder available at any grocery store near you and um, <clears throat> so this again just to recap this is warm milk plain yogurt skim milk powder at body temperature 
and that's all you need to make yogurt. Now, it's not finished obviously, you can see it's still liquid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I have the oven on at the least, the, 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 the coolest temperature possible. And uh, that's probably around 40 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to put the pot of yogurt in the oven and let it sit there for about four hours. And then in four hours, which will be like instantaneously for you because you're watching and I'm going to edit the video so that it looks like it happens right away, the yogurt will be ready and we'll put it in containers and we'll put it in the fridge and then tomorrow we'll have yogurt for breakfast. Yeah. All right, it's four hours later and uh, we're gonna check the uh, yogurt. So I'm gonna turn off the oven and you'll see that the oven is it's, it's just warm, so I can reach in with my bare hands and take out the pot of yogurt. And you see it moving, uh, it's more solid now. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scoop it out with a ladle and put it into jars, which I will store in the fridge overnight. And here we see fresh homemade yogurt. Now I noticed that this batch is a little bit um, runnier than I normally would like and the, the uh, solution to that would be to add a bit more of the uh, skim milk powder at the stage that I showed you earlier. So, but uh, we also have to consider that as it cools in the refrigerator it's going to thicken a little and the bacteria will also continue to multiply in the milk so um, I estimate that in the morning this yogurt will be a bit thicker than it is right now Oops. and what you can do with this is of course since you have the bacteria multiplying in this yogurt you can take this batch of yogurt the next time around and use that as your starter culture for the next uh, batch of yogurt. So that's that's how you make yogurt. I'll uh, I'll show you a batch of the yogurt that we made last week, which is has been in the fridge and it's tasty. Thank you.